Hi folks, Jason here at Leisure Time Sales and we have a treat for you. This is a Canadian made citation reward by our friends at General Coach. Leisure Time Sales, now in its 50th year, has had a relationship with the folks at General Coach for some time and we are very, very excited to have this beautiful unit here in our showroom. This of course is the 28, we've got the 25 uh, here as well and the 31 and in a very uh, interesting choice of names that basically just refers to the size of it. Um, you're right at about 28 feet, 28 inches on this one, the 25 and the 20 and the 31 rather, a little bit bigger and a little bit smaller. So we've got the uh, Goldilocks one inside the showroom right now, uh, in part because it is in the middle, it fits in the showroom well. And to be honest, it's my favorite of the three floor plans that we brought in. A couple things we're going to go right from the uh, front. We've got a power tongue jack, of course. On that, you can see here the A-frame is a galvanized steel versus the typical uh, powder-coated metal frame. So that's not going to rust. You're not going to have to worry about a lot of maintenance on that one. That's just really going to last forever. Um, while we're here at the front, let's look at one of the two fiberglass caps you've got on either end. One here at the front, and there is one on the back that we'll see when we get around to the back end. You've got an automotive-style glass windshield here at the front, too. And you can see that that's molded and integrated right into the cap itself. So nice and flush. Get a nice tint finish to it. You can see inside, but no detail. And when you see from the inside out, you'll notice that the uh, window is nice and bright from the inside. In this front compartment, you've got two enclosed 30 pound tanks. And for keeping going while you're on the road, you've got a full lithium battery, maintenance free lithium battery with Bluetooth capability. So you can hook that up to an app on your phone and you're able to monitor your um, available power and all those few, several other things that go with that uh, but the, the beautiful thing is the battery in its simplicity just stays charged for a very long time it will charge off the solar panels on the roof which I'll show you shortly as well as off the main charge line while you're driving and of course while you're plugged in and you can see the galvanized diamond plating on the inside um, general coach taking no shortcuts in the build of this unit and the quality uh, of every detail Close that up, take another walk around here. Let's do the backside first, actually. Let's not cheat and go right inside where all the fun stuff is. We'll take a look here at the uh, storage compartment. Little storage unit here, you've got a battery disconnect. It's well lit. You've got a little spot here to hang a key. Um, you've got, of course, the outdoor shower as well. You can see the exhaust here for your Truma system. Truma system uh, basically is what you typically see in a high-end B van. Um, it's just a heat pump style. Uh, system to heat your air, cool your air, and to heat your water all in one. So we continue to walk around the outside. You can see that automotive grade glass throughout. We've got everything just tilted open slightly right now so you can see how that works. But you can see a nice sealed gasket in there as well so when those are closed up, um, nice and airtight. But you can get a nice breezy feel by opening things up. Got passenger storage here at the back. Nice spot here to keep your sewer hose tucked away. This is of course lit, power cords in there. We're using one of our own power cords now because we don't want to uh, undo the fun stuff. You can see the floor is finished throughout, front to back. This is a solid state floor with Asdell lining in it so that you're able to have a nice uh, waterproof. They, they use the term impervious to water when they, when they describe this trailer, both the roof, the front cap, the rear cap, the whole bit. So that's a nice touch. You can see that galvanized metal repeats itself in the jacks as well. So again, you're not going to have to worry about a lot of rust buildup. Even little things like, look at these mud flaps here. It's a carpet style mud flap. It's just every little bit of detail, high end. Goodyear endurance tires on this unit as well. Just a little bit of everything to really step things up a bit. It's coming around to the back of the camper. You can see the diamond plating on the rear bumper. Again, that fiberglass cap on the back. Integrated backup camera. You can see here, the pitch to the roof, and you'll get a better view of it when I show you the awning, allows water runoff to be that much better. That is an aluminum cage that's built like a pyramid style, so there is a bit of a triangle to it so that the angle will let the water just run right off. Um, while you're driving, while you're camping, whatever it may be, they've really gone out of their way to make sure that this thing is, as they word it, impervious to water. Coming around to the front of the camper, you can see the Zip-D awning. This is a manual awning, but don't let that fool you. It's very easy to set up. The reason that we like this awning, that I like this awning so much, very easy to set up, very um, strong and stable once it is set up. I mean, here's me putting almost all my weight on it. It doesn't go very far. We've got a high grade fabric here that is mold and dirt resistant. So what they say when I've been doing a little bit of research on these zip D awnings to see why 
on a high-end trailer like this, you'd have a manual awning. At the end of the day, these awnings last forever. Both the fabric, the, the aluminum frame, everything about it um, is designed to last, just like the rest of the trailer. Well, we're on this side of the unit. We'll take a look at these outside speakers. We've got marine grade, marine grade clarion speakers, so you can have a little bit of a party outside. You can see the view from under the awning is quite nice. Good coverage throughout most of the trailer. We've got this set up right now with a little bit of a display for Christmas. You can see a nice comfortable campsite. Don't, don't mind the size of our marshmallows. All right, let's get back to the camper now. You've got a Thule step and this is powered. So you have a little latch right here to put it away. Take it out and you've got the LED stripe so you can see coming in and out of the camper. You've got a friction hinge on the door so wherever you put it, it's gonna stay. You've also got keyless entry so you can have that locked. Get your code, type it in, and the door's gonna pop open for you as well. So a nice added layer of security. You can see here, we've got a screen. This is like a challenger door, it's called. The screen door is uh, nice to be able to open things up and really air out the camper if you want that nice springtime feel to get the fresh air inside. But you can see too, whisper quiet to close that up. And again, just color matching throughout. Well, we're on this side of the trailer too, the um, fender skirt here for the uh, wheels. You can get that matching the color of the outside of the trailer. It is fiberglass as well just like the rest of the trailer. If you want to get that to be gray or on the blue one, you can get uh, color matching on those as well. All right, let's take a look at the inside of this unit now. Stepping inside, this is my favorite floor plan of the three we got. They're all very nice, all very well thought out. Really like this entryway lounge right away. You can see as we step back, I guess the cushions give away. If I haven't already mentioned it, this is a Canadian built unit. So looking at the living space, you can see the table on the right there, that does fold away. So if you wanna have a little bit more floor space, and there is lots of floor space considering we're in a camper with no slide. You can see underneath too, the uh, exhausts for the Truma system I mentioned. So we've got vertically mounted heating ducts in this one. So your floor is one solid state with an ASDO backer. So again, nice and uh, watertight. You've got good storage underneath with those latches. I'll show you uh, up close over here what these latches do. So right now this is of course uh, locked for travel. Pop that in, out it comes, and you're able to open up. Now, that repeats itself in most of the cabinets, so everything stays nice and locked while you're moving, and also flush, so you get that all tucked in. When you're actually camping, you pop them out, you're able to use them as handles, so they double both as locks and as handles. We saw that automotive front window pane from the outside, there it is from the inside, you've got those nice curtains there. Got some reading lights on either side, so nice and comfortable grab a seat here and you can see from the front of the coach you do have your entertainment system built in the Furion TV with the DVD player above Bluetooth stereo system built into this unit as well kitchen has a high-rise faucet two stainless steel bins to the sink all your switches your Truma controls here uh, again very much like a heat pump in terms of operation uh, you've got your solar charge controller here, your tank monitors, and of course all your lights uh, right here conveniently located. Great storage above and below the fridge. Your 12 volt Furion fridge, nice and big. All kinds of room to store stuff inside for extended camping. And again with that lithium battery, if you decide you want to camp off the grid for a bit, you're all set up and ready to do that. You stock up your fridge, you've got all kinds of storage space here. You can see just storage everywhere throughout the unit. Well thought out, well laid out. Fiberglass coating on the interior, so nice and easy to clean up. As we walk by, this is the door to the bathroom. Pop that open and look at this. What a beauty, it looks like a hotel bathroom. We've got the seated shower. Skylight above. Nice and comfortable. Brushed metal finish to the uh, shower into the sink and faucet. And you've got the lit mirror with the fantastic fan above. Two fantastic fans. There's one here in the bathroom and one at the front of the coach. Both of those are rain sensor fans. So if you leave those open, uh, the rain hits it, they're gonna close on their own. We love that. Corner ceramic Dometic toilet. And you've got some great storage in here as well. Again, love those latches that to lock. 
and you can see how the mechanism works right there. Once they're put in place, pop those in and those stay locked while you're traveling. Or if you just want to get those latches out of the way. Good counter space. You got a couple plugs there to the right and just great space in the bathroom. They're little things. It's little things that make the difference in these campers and you see a threaded metal uh, water supply line versus the typical plastic one. And, and again, that's a very small thing, but uh, just quality throughout the unit. There's a two burner induction cooktop, makes things nice and smooth here in the kitchen. So you're able to do your cooking with the induction unit, flip that off and that's all gonna run off the electricity. Good full size microwave above. As we pass through the kitchen, you can see on the left hand side, more storage. Again, I keep going on about these handles, but I just love them. So good storage here and also above to keep a few things up and out of the way. You do have a curtain for privacy as you head back to the ba to the uh, bedroom area. King coil mattress on this one. I mean, we probably shouldn't have this in the showroom because it's so comfortable that you're able to just come in here and grab a nap if you wanted to. But take a look at just the delicate, well thought out layout of this area of the camper. So this is your bedroom space. You've got uh, good walking space on either side, good floor space. Nice big windows, so you're feeling that open air feel. You do have some nice blinds, and again, look at that. Blinds come down, they're color matched to the back wall. Uh, they blend in, they keep the uh, sunlight out, um, it, but they still are very breathable, so you can leave your windows open and still have that fresh air coming through. Just again, well thought out. You've got LED trim at the top, and there's your third fantastic fan in the bedroom as well and you've got your air conditioning it is ducted throughout the unit. Keep things nice and cool, and there's your air conditioner in the middle. I skipped over that as I came by. Uh, hampers on either side, so if you wanna throw a few things in there, you've got hampers here, both on piano hinges. Throw a few things in there, keep your laundry tucked up and away. Here at the uh, head of the camper, you've got storage spaces on either side. You've got 110 plugs, spot to set your phone, light switch in there as well to control the overhead uh, reading light which you can see right there again led lighting above that's going to switch off with those switches as well and you've got great wardrobe storage here as well room for some folded shirts and whatnot there and then right here you've got a nice comfortable drawer and good access point because i mean i'm at six feet tall i'm walking back here nice and comfortably as well to uh, be able to access all this storage and you can see here the nice fiberglass finish to your overbed storage. So lots to learn, lots to share, lots of information coming our way about these units. Uh, the Citation Reward 28 by General Coach. Love having the opportunity to have these here. Come on in and see them. You really have to see them in real life to appreciate uh, the build quality, the, uh, fun the form function for a trailer, again, with no slide. Um, Great floor plan, great use of the uh, interior space to uh, really maximize the camping experience, the comfort and uh, features within. Come on in and see us, folks. This has been Jason at Leisure Time Sales and Quiz Pam Sis, our friends up at Leisure Time Sales in Moncton. Always happy to help you with these beautiful units as well. It is winter time. We are excited to still be open throughout the season. Happy to show you these new arrivals as they come in. We get ready for our show in early 2024. But uh, now is the time to buy, folks. Come on in and take a look in uh, the comfort of our showroom at this beautiful Citation Reward 28.